we're going to do two appetizers, uh, basically salad appetizer. And as we uh, discussed earlier, we're going to uh, concentrate on healthy food, basically. Uh, today, we're going to do a seafood salad with arugula, and we're also going to do a burrata. Burrata, it's a, it's a soft buffalo mozzarella cheese, but it's real soft and real buffalo mozzarella. And a fresh tomato, prefer, preferably Jersey tomato, a little sherry vinegar, and and um, it's that really. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, if you want to, if you want to, uh, yes. Yeah, so basically, yes. Yeah, so let's go back here. Yes. 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 It's kind of beef. Yeah. You could go a little bit th thicker, a little bit thicker. Yeah, and one more. Yes, one more, yeah. Okay. Okay. And you could do. Yeah, that's good. And then we're going to take some mixed green. Yes, we're going to chop it up a little bit. She knows I need my fingers, so she's going to do it for me. Okay. And then you put a little dressing in there. Yes. Okay. Use a whole burrata. Yeah. So this way, yeah, we use the whole thing. If we cut it, it's possible. If it's too soft, it's going to fall apart. So this way, this is a better, better shot at it. And then we dress it up a little bit and with the, with the olive oil, basil base. Yes, just put it around, and you could top that up. Okay, th this has enough. Season it uh, oil. Okay. So really, it's a simple, but it's very healthy and very tasty for those who want a, a cold substitution to a salad. This cold salad, basically with burrata cheese. It doesn't have to be complicated this week. It's, it's the cheese. Does it's not fresh. Does not have to be complicated. Can you don't pick up the plate and hold it between the two of you and take a picture of that. Well, so let's get its good side. Yeah. Let's look at the camera for a sec. Beautiful. Okay. All right. First, good afternoon. Yes. Yes, uh, put out the salad, which is seafood salad. Yeah. Good. Good, good, thank you. So we have all this already mixed in? Yes, we have uh, calamari cooked, uh, not, uh, don't overcook. Uh, uh, calamari is, or, or seafood is, should not be overcooked. It gets too, too chewy, too hot. Just for a couple of minutes in the hot water, put it back in ice and chop it. And basically what we have is calamari, rings of calamari, which we, we cut on itself. So, uh, a piece of shrimp. Uh, we have red onions. Cherry tomato. Uh, cherry tomato, and we have avocado. Yeah, pieces of avocado. Yes, and we use a fresh lemon. Uh, yeah. you know, we'll give it, we'll put it in there. Just, and we, we uh, yeah, we, we have that too. And here, you can use this for the pit, yes. So you can squeeze it. Okay. And you could put a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin, preferably extra virgin olive oil. Okay, and you could you could plate it. Uh, use a, uh, the ruler first. Try to some and uh, you top it with seafood. It's going to have all the oil. Yes. Okay. Good. Perfect. Salad first. Yes. You had 
underneath, right? Which is where I should have been. And I, and I moved it around. Okay, no problem. That's good. That's good. My fire. But this is a big plate, right? Service it, as an entree. It is, yes. If somebody wants it as an entree, mostly as appetizer, but if somebody wants it just to have a salad, seafood for the entree, that's that salad. Joe, Joe, speak louder so the camera picks okay. you. So the salad goes underneath and all of the, Correct. All the other things go on the top. Yes. So the avocado, shrimp, calamari. It's not as pretty as she made it, but. <laughs> Put all of it in? Yes, yes, all the same. Because uh, should be mixed together or not? Well, some of it is going to usually when we do some of it, it gets there, but right. usually it's on the top. You know, sometimes to show what it is, but sometimes you know, it just looks better. But no, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's all the Yes, yes, so this way. Okay. Yeah, so basically, this right. is what we. Just a little bit of just the virgin olive oil? Yes. And a little bit of lemon? It, it has lemon, uh, and we also have a little, a little salt, a little pepper. That's that they all see. And as you said, it's a simple, yep. it's a tasty, healthy. Uh, yep. So, yeah. If you have a light lunch, that's perfect for a light Correct. lunch. Correct. You, you see, would you add a little more there? That would be it for yeah. lunch. Oh, yeah. It's... A little piece of bread? That's it. it doesn't work. That's it. That, that's perfect. That'll do it. Can you hold it up between the two of you? Let me squeeze in here. And a smile. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. We have uh, uh, celery, uh, red onions, and a couple of those things. Season, no pepper, no uh, salt, and then we throw in the lobster. Chop lobster. Chop, chop lobster. Put it all together. Yes. And then we'll mix. Then we'll mix it. We add a little bit. We add a little ricotta cheese there to, 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 to make them stick. Yeah, yeah. Good. and make it a little more thick. Yeah. 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 And you're gonna you're gonna make make a couple of them, and we're gonna cook. Maybe everybody look this way for a second. There's someone behind you. Some salt and pepper. Yes. Now you put, uh, you put it on top, 
And then we get a ring. Right. Okay. You try to take the air because the yeah. you put it in water, the ring is going to be right. The that's the ring we call. This is the ring we call. Yeah, just the ring. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Push it up, yeah. straight. Okay. Here it is. And the right here. Yeah. That's it. You twist a little bit if you want. Okay. And just take it some of your Okay. 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 And we give the ingredients uh, Okay, so not the thing we want to show how to make it. Yeah. So those are already made, right? They have the same process. Yeah, the same. We, we try to make it made by order. Yeah. Right. Everything starts made by order. Like every day we start making fresh up with it. Yeah. Because the kind of this kind of pasta, if you don't make it fresh, it moves the way or get dry. So that's basically that's that's what I So now we're gonna go and cook it. If you want. Well, we could have the same thing. Yeah. So let's let's do that. Let's put that side. Okay. So now we put a little bit hot water for just not long, just a little bit. About let's put about eight of them. And not long uh, because the, the skin, pasta skin is soft. And we don't want that. Uh, we don't want that. Uh, the pasta is soft. Yeah. Uh, if you remember the vegetables, uh, we caramelized before. Stuck <laughs> inside. Right. Remember in the beginning? Yeah. We caramelized these vegetables. Caramelized with the brownies, baby okay. carrots, right. and red bell pepper. Okay. That okay. we caramelized before, and everything is most prepared. Well, the, the take, take, take it out. Yeah, already. You let them dry. Yeah, a little bit. You let them dry. That's just put in saffron. Yeah, that's a little bit, little bit cream. Not much, just a little bit cream to give a color. And also, yes, a heavy cream, a little bit. And also, we have saffron, so to, to give a color and a little taste. So now, now pasta, it's it's done because it's really need to just warm up. Right. You don't need to do more than that. We just we soft a little bit, just a little bit touch with homemade chicken broth. Salt and pepper. And that's when we go the pasta. It's the sauce gets a little bit more thicker and yeah. all combinate together. I come in one. Right. Give me some these. We're gonna do right here. There you go. Take that. Take this. That's okay. Yeah. Joe, so hold that. Yeah, you could if you want to show it. Yeah, you go one at a time. Yeah, one at a time, yes. Because the reason you don't, if you don't like that yeah. fast, it's going to fall apart. I'm afraid I'm going to get my job. Yeah. Huh? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Relax. 
If you want, if you have any cream, you could put a little bit on top. It's just a bit more cover. Yeah. Yeah. So just one second. Just mix it up that You hold for a second. Especially with the white part in the middle, so you, you, you want to try to see that better. Okay. That's now, good. this is the seafood, lobster yeah. ravioli with yeah. vegetables, caramelized fruit, uh, onions, decoration. and that's the decoration I'm yeah. Very nice. Good and healthy. Very healthy for pasta. Very healthy. So, salad, celery, carrot, red onion, red bell pepper, inside. yellow red pepper inside, right. and a lobster. And it comes Correct. We caramelize all the... All we caramelize before with extra virgin olive oil, right. and that's where the game comes. Everything being my own, there's nothing prepared, right. nothing like... We don't like to do like two... You can make ravioli anyway, but this right. is simple, healthy, and fresh. That's the, the main thing, like, now. Perfect. Good. Thank you. Good. Okay, guys. Hold it up. Yeah. I'm going to be able to see all the, all the guys. Once we start with the fresh scalp, that is U10, dry scallop. The word dry is just the name of it. It doesn't mean that the scallop itself is dry. It just, it's, 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 it's a dry scallop, but like I said, it's not, that doesn't mean it's dry in itself the way it is. And yes, you could see it's large scallop. Uh, basically, uh, we're gonna, the brewer is gonna season up a little bit with a little pepper, a little uh, salt, it's a little bit just from and and maybe a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit later. Okay. That's good. Good. The salt we don't use like salt. Not much. Only like first the scallops have that that's sweetness good. and you wanna kill that sweetness that's from good. the scallops. We don't use lara salt. That's the biggest complaint we have is no lara salt. But we we don't we use much salt. salt. We don't use salt. salt. We're, we're we're editing out the words. The biggest complaint we have. We don't want to hear anything about the word complaint. Go ahead. <laughs> well, the best well, scallops. We put some olive oil there. Extra olive oil and heat the pan nicely. Yeah, saute one Senator, side. Grab yeah. it, grab it, and saute okay, it. Saute one side, yeah. and then. Then we go to the other side. After that, after that, that. Like you can see here, getting the collar right. around, right. and all the side. And after that, you just. When do you know to run You just you have, like you can see right here, the other right. side. Right. Smile, Joe. Thank you. 
take attention from the scouts, it's kind of fish, like you can lose it very fast and you can overcook. Right. The scallops have to be nice and moist inside. The cold the scallops, you get caramelized the top, and right. both sides, and you need all the both sides, the middle of the scoop and soft and nice. The same the flavor, the sweetness of the scallops. Right. Right. No, the garlic we're going to use, what the scallops are going to do from the net. Spinach, so they baby spinach. Okay. Now we're going to put it there, it's nice and easy. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's the sauce we serve. It's nothing else. And that's the short ribs. If you can see, it's very soft and very, very nice. Yeah. And that's we serve with homemade fettuccine. Okay. okay? That's we take the fettuccine, we throw in the water, and the yeah. fettuccine. Now, how long does it cook? We cook very easy because it's homemade right. and soft. it's so, so easy to cook it. You have to be very, very careful because it's going to fall apart because that's the way we do it. How long will it cook in the water now? The Does it like, go boil or not? Just a second. Like, you can like a little bit boil it a little bit. And we see we need the sauce. Now we move the short ribs this way because what's going to happen, the fettuccine from there, we're going to dry it, it's going to go right here. Really? The reason we're going to cook in the same sauce and everything else. Alright, so make this. Yes. Here we go. Yeah. 
here. You won't take the sauce, you just drizzle a little bit in top. On the short ribs or on the pasta? Short ribs and pasta. Freeze your hands over the thing when you're sure. That's the short ribs. That's the short ribs with homemade fettuccine and we call baroma sauce, but it's the same sauce like vegetable baroma mixed together. Well, it's all in the sauce too. I mean, it's everything is in the sauce. We drain the, what we take out. We drain everything, and that's what the thing. Is. And Fabio, just go me here, and that is for the, the end, the, the, the beautiful touch of the owner's hand.